I think I have a pretty good sense of direction, but I'd be lying if I said that I don't like to use my GPS. It takes into the account traffic, it takes into the account some apps. If there's uh, any blockages on the road, such as animals or police or service vehicles, it's so great to have GPS because it uses the satellites that are above the earth to show us where we're going. Don't we have a GPS for our life too? Doesn't our life have a global positioning system? It would recognize where we are on our journey and be able to assist us with guiding us along the way. GPS. Another way we can look at it is God plan or God's plan starts. God's plan starts at that location where he can reach us, where he knows where we are in our life. If we're not truthful about where our location is, how will we expect for us to be able to be taken to where we need to be? Let us be truthful about where we are in our life. Where are you in your journey? How deep is your relationship with God? Do you believe in God? These are questions that need to be answered so that way your location can be properly determined. It's something to know about where you're going, but it's another thing to first know where you are. In order to get to where you're going, you need to know where you are. And if you don't know where you are, how can you be located? How can you trust the God that you're given, the Bible, that can guide you through your everyday life unless you know where you are? Where are we in our journey? How can we be found? You're being sought after right now. God is seeking after you right now. But will you allow him to find you? Or you remain hidden off of the radar by your choice? We all have a choice. Do we want to be found? Do we want to be truthful about where we are? Or do we want to rely on memory or rely on our own abilities to find out where we are, to hopefully stumble upon where we're going? But what happens if the, on the map it shows blue? We, we may end up off course. We may end up in the water if it's gray. We may end up on a mountain that we don't need to be climbing. That's the cost of using your own will versus God's will. You can go about it your own way and go through unnecessary things or go about his way and trust that his way is the only way.